Hello and welcome to APM Research, the Pyramid, Free Energy and the Ark of the Covenant Decoded. I have been gazing into the vortex, probing it, decoding its secrets and sharing them with you. Since my very first video nearly five years ago, I have been decoding what the Milky Way is, how it works and interacts with our environment, what it is responsible for and what its effects are. I have revealed its presence in data, identified and modelled how it is involved in our seasons, explained what the spirals and glyphs represent, how I termed its functions as the spiralling pressure waves of electromagnetism, how its function is locked in between the tropics of Capricorn and Cancer, and a whole lot more. I have practically written the book on what the Milky Way is. Now this information is being heavily suppressed in this community. These people that aren't sharing it are holding you back and for all the wrong reasons. This information should be shared far and wide. It is world changing information and very important. Our Milky Way is a spiraling vortex of alternating current. It programs the ether and the waters. And yes, I said programs. The electric dipoles that exist in air and water are constantly being programmed with positives and negatives of various potentials and colour. Different colours of the spectrum contain different electric potential. We live and breathe in a sea of alternating current, ladies and gentlemen. This was termed the ether or quintessence in ancient times. When I gazed into this spiral in vortex, I saw what Nikola Tesla and Walter Russell saw. I experienced their revelations and realizations. It is overwhelming, in more ways than I can describe. But I continue on and try to show in my research and explanations how we are revealing the Creator's glory, because this is what it is a part of. It is the primary driver in this realm. In 2D it looks like a sine wave, which in 3D is a spiral. It is our Milky Way, or Milky Wave as I call it which we will get more into in our next release. As you already know from my decodings of Walter Russell's motor, the Rome Colosseum and the Great Pyramid, I have been showing how the ancients worked with this alternating current and the designs used. It has always been a part of human life and knowledge we are revealing. These are very large electrical power generation stations. So on with the decode. For this part, we are revisiting the Great Pyramid to complete the picture. Now if you remember the niches in the King's and Queen's Chamber, I connected those to the same process decoded in Walter Russell's motor. They are doing the same process of generating alternating current using water and pressure. To decode the pyramid, we now add the missing parts. I could see from Brian Foster's video that the chambers inside had definitely been exposed to water, so what I needed was the pump system to make this work. I came across this animation made by Edward J. Kunkel that termed this ram water jet design as a pharaoh's pump. He said it was part of how they built it. That may be the case, but its correct use and primary function is the pump system needed to cause the water to rise and fall in the king's and queen's chambers. This effect is the same as the events taking place in Walter Russell's motor. You see, the niches are actually pressure zones that will emit an electrical pressure wave. This wave is harnessable alternating current of various potentials. How it works is the narrowings in the niches are venturis that cause a back pressure which is basically a manufactured torus field of which you have seen decoded in other works of mine. So we now have the motor and process to create the alternating current. The design is slightly different to Walter's motor, but still has the same principles. The heavy blocks above the king's and queen chambers are there to create the back pressure needed to make this work, and will also be shaped like a venturi. This is the same as two poles on the Walter Russell motor. So what did they do with this alternating current, you ask? For a very big clue to that, we will visit Dendera further along the River Nile and decode this component. This bulb, as it has been turned, is actually something very unique and special. 
I decoded it as a mercury arc valve or rectifier. This is a type of electrical rectifier used for converting high voltage or high current alternating current AC into direct current DC. And this is how you charge your batteries or run DC equipment. Thank you for that lovely animation Sandra. Excellent work. The mercury arc rectifier is a type of cold cathode gas filled tube. But it is unusual that the cathode, instead of being solid, is made from a pool of liquid mercury and is therefore self-restoring. As a result, mercury arc valves were much more rugged and long-lasting and could carry much higher currents than most other types of gas discharge tube. Some of these mercury arc rectifiers are still in use today. You see, mercury has a very good use in converting alternating current to direct current. This was obviously used extensively in ancient times, if you remember. I mentioned they found amounts of mercury below a pyramid in Mexico. You can now see its purpose, converting alternating current to direct current. So the Dendera light bulb now helps me decode a larger piece of the puzzle. Ladies and gentlemen, it is a great honour to present to you the Ark of the Covenant. The Ark of the Covenant is a mercury arc rectifier. It tells you this in your holy books. You will see me between the wings of angels. This is God. God is light, the electrical energy that is involved in the creation of all things. This creator is teaching science and knowledge, and how we as human beings can work with God to benefit humanity. To work with God requires you to know the rules of these electrical processes. God will work with you, not for you. Walter Russell Edison's problems of sending DC current longer distance came with its problems and fires were common. Tesla's idea was to send the alternating current to your homes and have the appliances convert it to DC electric current which is for the most part still taking place today using semiconductors. So we are basically paying for the privilege of a spiral entering our homes and bringing appliances to life. Alternating current that is free and plentiful that will never exhaust itself and has always been here since this construct's creation. Take this most sacred of knowledge and share it far and wide, for it belongs to you all. Our ancients knew this and left for us all the clues which we have decoded. My next step of course would have been to see how it can be harvested in more modern times but someone else already figured this part out by identifying the spires on most buildings are actually there to harvest from the ether. They are antennas. I'm not sure who came to this conclusion, but it is 100% correct and very good research. Do let me know who discovered this so I can credit you correctly in our next video. Very well done. Excellent research. The missing component from your antenna decode is the mercury arc rectifier or as replaced within modern times, a semiconductor. So the old world science and technology now meets the new world science and technology. And as you can see, they are very much the same. APM research have decoded the ancient understanding of the ether, the Milky Way, and how to harness and generate electricity, including the demonstrations and science required, and the structures used and what to look for. This is part of a massive decoder of which you will see more of soon. But what creates the winds are the same type of spiralling pressure waves in our world. You must watch our videos to understand more of the knowledge and science behind the Creator's glory. We decode Walter Russell's science and show you what it actually relates to. And for our friend Roy, Vinny St Vincent, this one's for you. You need a mercury arc rectifier or semiconductor here and this should help your alternating current conversion. I can't seem to get in touch with you so I hope you find this and it helps you. Go forth and free humanity with this knowledge and new understanding of our construct's workings and how to harness it. This work of ours has become very sacred to us for it is the truth and reality we have decoded and we will protect it from outside interference, railroading, stealing and all the rest of it. Our truth is free, as the Creator intended it to be. Please share or mirror this research everywhere. It is the science and path to free energy and freedom. It is being heavily suppressed. 
For more information and explanations, do watch our videos as they all contain a rolling research and decode of this construct and its workings. What APM Research release is for free. It is real, honest, genuine research and you will need the science of Walter Russell to understand this world and its workings of which we are decoding and presenting to you, the world audience. This is an APM Research Decode. Come go with me Open your mind Finding the knowledge of the real world Starts with the point of which has no parts These are the axioms of life And I take my chances with the old ways Finding the proofs in geometry And I don't care what all the software say I find the proofs in reality They were right We know that they were right Starting with circles and lines alone Constructing the nature of what's known I take my chances with the old ways Finding the proofs in geometry and I don't care what all the software say I find the proofs in reality When all around you is sinking sand You have a place on which Foundations were already built for you So open your mind And I'll take my chances with the old ways Hearing the words of what the ancients said They say my words sound like sorcery But there's wisdom in all honesty Come go with me We'll find the truth